Hi everybody, in today's video, I am so excited. Um, I've been meaning to film this for a while and like the month has just completely gotten away from me. I don't know how this month is flying by as fast as it is, but it's going by so, so quick. So I'm gonna be showing you some of my favorite Halloween nail polishes. Halloween is like my favorite nail time of the year, you guys, I've said it before, I love Halloween polishes, especially Halloween glitters and all that fun stuff. So I have a couple of like newer things that I know for sure are available now and then I have a couple of things that are harder to find but you may have them in your collections or something similar just to give you some ideas. Um, so I'm going to talk about everything by brand I think that will be easier. For some reason my hair is like crazy today. We got our first... We got our first snowstorm today, you guys, at work, and I, like, literally, I'm like, it's not even Halloween yet, really. Um, it didn't snow a lot, and it didn't stick, but it was freezing, and it was snowing, and it was just like, it is too early for all this. I don't even know what's going on. But let me show you something really fun first. So, one of my subscribers was doing a stash, and she asked me if I'd be interested in some polishes, and I said, sure. And so she asked me about brands and things like that. You know, do you have any of this brand? What about this brand? So she sent me a really, really nice package. I'm hoping to film a video on it soon. But I want to show you this in this video because it's just perfect for Halloween. So she threw in this little um, dish towel. And it has a witch. And it says, if you can't ride with the big girls, stay off the broom. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love this towel. I'm actually, um, we do like a Halloween decorating contest at work and a costume contest. And I'm thinking I may take this to hang up and decorate um, at work because I freaking love it, you guys. Love it, love it, love it. Um, and this was for my subscriber, Donna. So thank you so much, Donna. When I pulled this out, I was just like, oh my gosh, like you completely know me because I was like, love it. Um, I actually showed it to a lady at work and she was like, oh my God, I want one. Um, so it's super, super cute. Thank you so much. Like this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Um, and then she sent me a polish. So let's talk about, or she sent me several polishes, but she sent me a Halloween polish. So let's talk about that. This is from Dollish Polish and this is called The Curse of Michael Myers. Um, when I pulled this out of the package, you guys, I was just like, oh my goodness, I have to get this on the nails. So I actually have already worn this and oh, I am in love with it. In my opinion, this Halloween glitter mix is perfection. Um, it sort of has the colors of like candy corn in there. There's like a matte yellow, matte orange, sparkly orange, holographic. They're all different sizes. There's even like some shards in there. It's really, really fun. Has a great glitter payoff. Um, I was just so, so in love with this, you guys. It's perfection. Um, A lot of my favorite Halloween glitters that I have, I've had for years and they're actually starting to get fill lines and it makes me sad. So I'm glad to have another like glitter, Halloween glitter to like throw in the rotation because it's so, so, so pretty. Um, I loved, loved, loved this glitter. So thank you again for the cute towel and this polish and hopefully I'll film a video on that nail mail sometime soon. I feel like I'm really behind on some of my videos so it may be a little while but she sent me some really fun polishes so thank you so much Donna. So I have one lonely OPI to talk about and this is called Summer Lovin' Having a Blast. I've talked about this before in a lot of videos. This has become pretty much my favorite orange cream ever. Um, a subscriber actually sent me a backup and I'm so happy because I've worn this multiple times since I got the Grease Collection. I wore this in a couple of Halloween manicures last year. I've already put it on for a Halloween manicure this year. Um, it has a great formula, two coats to get opaque. I like how bright it is and how it is sort of summery because I do like bright nails and I think it really just pops off the nail and the formula is perfection, you guys. I think this shade of orange is really pretty for Halloween, like paired with a purple. Um, when I wore this, I actually wore it with this tonic polish and I topped it with this simple color. So this is all stuff I'm going to be talking about coming up. But this is so, so freaking pretty, you guys. If you like orange and you don't have this, you should go grab it. I love it in the summer, too, just on its own. I think it's just the most beautiful pop of color orange um, that I have. Then next up, I have one lonely Revlon, um, and this is called Uninhibited. Look at this, you guys. It's the most glowy orange red. 
This is new, a new shade, I believe. I was at Walmart looking for something Revlon. I can't even think of what. I don't know if I was looking for a lipstick or what I was looking for, but this polish was like just sitting there like, please freaking buy me. You need to have me. And I was like, okay. And I put it in my cart. I'm not usually drawn to this type of color, but it just called to me and I was like, oh my gosh, I need this. Um, so this is actually what I'm wearing on my nails right now. Look at that glow, you guys. It is freaking perfection. Like I'm not even lying. Um, has a great formula, two coats to get opaque, so beautiful, so glowy. It doesn't have any brush strokes, which I really, really like because I'm not a brush stroke person. This is perfect for fall too. Like if you're not into Halloween manicures, I think this does scream fall leaves and things like that as well. Um, really, really beautiful polish, but I plan to wear this during the Halloween time because I think it just fits perfectly for that. I would top this with like a black and white glitter. I think that would be beautiful. Um, here I have it with like some black. I'll talk about what I have on my nails, my other polishes here in a sec, but so, so pretty, perfect for Halloween um, and also fall in general and it has a great formula and Revlons are super cheap and this is available now because I just got this at my Walmart not too long ago. Um, then I have one tonic polish only again. This was the black Friday. This was an exclusive from last year's black Friday sale It's just a gorgeous black um, Holographic it has like a touch of green. I feel like you'll see what I'm talking about. Hopefully in my swatch picture So beautiful to you guys though. So deep has a gorgeous formula two coats to get opaque um, The holographic on it is stunning you guys when you get out in the Sun or like in certain lighting is it's so beautiful the manicure that I had with this got so many compliments um, people at work were like, what's on your nails? So pretty. I think people are noticing I'm switching out my nails so much faster. They're like waiting to see what I have because I've been switching out a lot this month for Halloween. And then I think some people thought my nails were fake at work. So they were thinking, man, this girl's getting her nails all the time, <laughs> done all the time. But then when they asked me if they were my own nails and I said, yes, they got a little more interested in what was going on. So this manicure got a ton of compliments. Um, people were really drawn to this manicure that had these polishes in it. So if you have this and you haven't tried it, get it out now and maybe you can do like some fun stamping or if you have some nail stickers, things like that. Um, I think you would really love the way that this looks on the nails. Um, then I have a few simple colors here to talk about. These are not exclusively Halloween polishes, but I think they work for Halloween. So the first one is going to be Let's Talk. Um, look at this, you guys. It's so glowy. It's so beautiful. My friend Mary Beth sent this to me earlier in the year. A big polish package. And um, I don't know how I have been such an avid like nail collector, nail addict, and I did not have simple colors. Let's Talk. Like I'm completely in shock that I had never bought it and had never worn it and had never tried it. Um, and I think Mary Beth was too and that's why she was like, oh my gosh, you need this. This polish, you guys, is so freaking beautiful. It's so glowy on the nails. It has a really beautiful brightness that I love. Two coats to get opaque. Um, really, really nice formula. And um, I actually, when I wore this, I topped it with um, this topper that I just showed you guys, the Curse of Michael Myers. It was so fun. It was so eye-catching. Another one, just tons of compliments. It glowed off the nails. It was so beautiful. I thought it felt very like witchy to me and I was in love with this combination so, so hard. Um, if you have Let's Talk and you have not worn it, it's a perfect time to get it out for like a cute Halloween manicure. I think this would be cute again, stamped over. If you have beautiful nail stickers, um, you would really enjoy this. Even just like a cute Skittle Manny would be nice with um, just an orange cream. I would totally do that. I think this polish is so beautiful. I can't wait to wear it as a full manicure too because I just think it has this really, really beautiful glowiness that is so, so nice on the nails. Next up from Simple Colors is Drag Queen. Um, this is from this year's Pride Collection. It is a purple polish, or like purple jelly base with purple glitters. I have not gotten this on the nails this year so far, but I do have it pulled, but I don't think I'll be able to get around to this before Halloween, I don't know. I did do a video on these where I swatched these on a nail wheel, and if I remember, I'll link it in the comment box down below. This one had a really good formula. It got opaque on its own in two coats, so I definitely think it's a two to three coater, depending on application, nail length, all of that stuff. Um, and I think it's a beautiful choice for Halloween, you guys. Um, and then this is Simple Colors Tight Squeeze. This is also from the New Pride Collection. 
This was the most sheer out of the whole collection. When I live swatched it, I remember thinking this would be a better topper. And so when I did wear it, I topped it over the um, Silver and Loving having a blast. And I liked the way that looked. Um, but even like if you had these two and you just wore them together like that, that says Halloween to me so, so hard. I love the orange purple combination for Halloween. I think it's really pretty. And you can even throw in a green in there. That would be really, really fun. I actually, I'm a liar. So I have a cup, one green to talk about and that's it. But um, like a, you know, like a neon green or like one of those like pretty ugly greens would say Halloween with either one of these polishes to me as well. Um, this one had, like I said, a sheer formula. Um, it's not hard to apply or goopy or anything, but I decided to do it as a topper because I don't want it to get too thick and, and then if it wouldn't have gotten opaque, I would have been kind of bugged. So, um, that's how I decided to wear it. Um, and then next up, I always love what China Glaze does for Halloween. This year I didn't get anything. I was a little bit disappointed that nothing really called out to me from their Halloween collection because usually the China Glaze Halloween collection is like my thing. It's my jam. Um, usually I end up picking up at least one or two polishes from it, but this year I was just kind of like, eh. Um, I would have preferred the glitters to be in clear bases instead of colored bases. And the orange was pretty, but I was kind of like, eh, I'm not huge on orange generally anyway. Um, they had a really pretty green that I just didn't get. So this year was kind of a bust for me for China Glaze Halloween. I was a little sad. These polishes are going to be hard to find, I think, for sure, because um, they are older. But this is Glitter Goblin from China Glaze. This is one of my favorite China Glaze polishes ever and Halloween glitters ever. Um, it's a mix of orange, holographic, and maybe a little bit of purple. This gets opaque on its own or you can wear it as a topper. Usually when I wear it, I get it opaque on its own and oh my gosh, it's so sparkly, so pretty, so Halloween. Um, I actually had Laura from All Apologetically Laura send me a backup of this and thank the Lord because the polish on this... Um, I've used quite a bit of it. I would say if I haven't moved it around, my fill line would probably be down to there. Um, this does require a lot of thinning because it is one of those ghetto pick on its own glitters from China Glaze. And for some reason, those do some of them do seem to thicken up the more you wear them. Um, but but um, I freaking love this polish, you guys. I think it's perfection for Halloween. I love how sparkly it is. It's total like Halloween glam, which I love. Um, if you have this and you haven't tried it somehow, get it on the nails now. It's so good. Um, and if you find it in a D stash and you love um, themed glitters like I do, I would definitely consider picking it up. Um, this one is called Ghostest with the Mostest, um, and this came out in another China Glaze Halloween collection. I feel like some of these glitters have faded over time, which I am a little bit sad about, but it's still a really beautiful Halloween combination. This has a mix of matte black, matte orange, matte purple, and like maybe a greenish glitter in varying sizes. I used to wear this every year for Halloween. Um, I gave it a break this year. Same with Glitter Goblin because um, I had some new stuff I wanted to try. But but this over like a really bright green cream is usually how I wear it and I love it. Um, if you have this and you if you have this and you haven't worn it, get it out. It's so pretty. It's so fun. Um, one coat gives you excellent glitter payoff and I just think it's a really fun way to get like a really cute Halloween nail look without a ton of like nail art and work. So really, really pretty glitter. Then um, I already just recently wore this too. This is Night and Slay from China Glaze. Um, this came out in last year's Halloween collection where they did like shades of black different ways. The holographic on this freaking polish, you guys, oh my gosh. Against the black glitters, it's just like a twinkling night. The formula on this was extremely thick for me. I added a ton of thinner to it. Um, again, another one of those ghetto pick on its own china glazes that just has thickened up. But I added in some glitter. It was still kind of thick, but I was okay with it. I top coated it, and oh my gosh, you guys, I like literally died. It was so freaking good. The sparkle, the Halloweenness, everything about this is so beautiful. If you love Halloween polishes and for some reason you did not get this, I would keep an eye out for it because I don't think this is a hard to find. I don't think it's one of those like sold out everywhere polishes, but um, so, so, so freaking pretty, you guys. Oh my gosh. I think this would be perfect for like New Year's Eve too or like anytime you just want to be blingy. This is so beautiful.
Um, and then last up, I have not worn this polish yet. I'm so excited to show this to you guys. This has been on my lemming list for the longest time. And I happened to stumble across a D-Stash and a Vintage Nail Polish site. And I was like, oh my god, I need it. So I was kind of negotiating with this girl. Um, this is Zombie Zest from China Glaze. And I ended up picking up this and Party Hardy from a long time ago Christmas collection. Um, and I'm so happy. I got some other um, hard to find OPIs as well. And I think I got a pretty good deal. I didn't really pay like an individual price for this polish. It was more like, what do you give me? F like, how much do you want for this whole bundle? So... Um, but I completely lucked out. I cannot wait to get this on the nails. I think this may be the next thing I definitely put on. Um, but look at this, you guys. Oh my gosh. So pretty. So ugly. Pretty ugly. Um, I love the shimmer in this. I actually was debating getting Phoebe's dupe of this. And then a couple of people were like, it's not an exact dupe. So I decided not to. And then a few, like maybe a week later, a couple weeks later, this came up in the D-Stash. And I was like, oh my gosh. So I jumped on it. I'm super excited to have it. I cannot wait to try it. So, so excited. You guys, so, so excited. Um, and then next up, I have some picks from Painted Phalanges Halloween Collection from this year. I was super, super impressed with the collection that they put out for Halloween. I think it's amazing. I think a lot of these polishes were so Halloween, so fun. Um, and they are still all available. So if you're looking for some Halloween polishes um, and you're like new to collecting or you're looking for just things that are interesting and different, which I think this collection did have, um, head over to Painted Phalanges, you guys, because I really... And she re-released last year's Halloween collection and there was some really beautiful polishes in that collection as well. So um, the first one I'm going to talk about is called Sugar Hangover. It's actually what I have on my nails right now. Um... Let me see if I can get a good angle on it. There you can kind of see all like the glitters in it. It's really pretty. It's really fun. Um, it is sheer. It's a sheer jelly base. It has um, green glitters, orange glitters, purple glitters, like the classic Halloween color mix in my opinion. And in varying sizes, you can see in the bottle. Look how pretty that is. Um, I'll put in a swatch picture of this on its own. It is still a tiny bit sheer after three coats on me. And I didn't go for a fourth coat. So I did want to show you that look. For me, when I put it on this time, I layered um, two coats of it over one coat of a black polish. And I really love the way this looks. I wish I could like bring you to my house and show you because I think it's really, really beautiful on the nails. And it's really hard to photograph and show on camera. Um, but I'm trying so pretty perfect for Halloween very vampy I think I think this would be a beautiful Halloween manicure just on its own and not paired with an orange But I'm trying to get a lot of stuff worn. Um, the formula is very nice. It's not like a goopy jelly base Um, it goes on sheer so it's easy to build Um, and I loved it over black and I did two coats for depth and oh you guys it literally looks like all my Halloween glitters are like in a pond under my nails. I don't even know how to explain it, but I love it. It's so, so pretty, you guys. Um, If you like that kind of look, I definitely think you need this polish. I actually have a full review of this collection too, and if I remember, I'll link that in the comment box down below as well. Um, then she did a full out glitter bomb, which I was like totally in for. This is Check Out My Candy Sack. Um, in my opinion, you cannot get enough um, Halloween full out glitter bombs. This is so pretty on the nails, you guys. Um, I did not try to get this opaque on its own. Um, in my swatch pictures for the video, I did show it as a topper. And I have worn it as a topper this year as well. Um, it has a gorgeous mix of sparkly glitters. It has black, it has orange, it has purple, it has a holographic. Um, it's really, really, really beautiful. And so sparkly. It's really, really beautiful and so sparkly on the nails. I actually did an interesting combination with this. Um, so I had never worn my China Glaze Cinderella polish. Um, and I decided that I was going to wear it this year. And I decided I was going to wear it this year. So I put it on the nails. The pink glow on that polish, you guys, oh, it's perfection. But it wasn't like completely screaming out tacky Halloween, which is what I love for my Halloween manicures. So I decided to top it with this. And I thought it was a risk. So I was only going to do an accent nail. Because if I didn't like it, I thought, okay, it's one nail. I can live with that. When I put it on the accent nail, Lord have mercy, because like 
all of this shimmer in this like didn't completely cover up the pink shimmer from the china glaze and it was just like sparkly glowy hollowy perfection on the nails I had a hard time capturing like the true beauty in my swatch pictures I even did a video and I still felt it was like so much prettier in real life so I'll post all that here for you guys to see but that manicure was like oh my gosh to me so so freaking pretty i think this is gorgeous over black and white that's how i swatched in my video i'll put that picture in here as well too and um i think over a gray this would be beautiful i don't know how the orange would pop you would probably have to pick your orange um a little strategically to make sure you don't wash out the orange glitters but oh this is like a must have in everybody's collection in my opinion if you like to do halloween manicures which i do perfection great glitter payoff in one coat this glitter is to die for i'm so excited to have some new glitters to add to my collection because like i say i have a lot of old favorites but i love adding new blinged outness so these two are like really really nice for me And then this polish, you guys, it's the last polish I'm going to show you. This is like Halloween in a bottle to me. Um, when I saw this polish, when Angie sent me my package for my PR, I just literally was like, holy freaking cow. This is called Puking Pumpkins. It is the most gorgeous pumpkin orange shade. Then she put in matte yellow glitters, orange sparkly glitters, holographic. They're in different sh um, shapes. And it's just perfection, honestly. Like, I don't even know. The glitter sort of remind me of, like, candy corn type colors. This is, like, dead on the exact color of a pumpkin. I was wondering how flattering it was going to be on me, but I freaking loved it. This is going to be this year's Halloween Day manicure. I've already decided. I've had it sitting out with my pulled Halloween polishes. And um, I'm like, oh, I should put it on now. And then I'm like, no, it's your Halloween manicure. Put it back. And it's just there like calling to me like you need to wear me but I feel like this just says Halloween so so much that this is what I'm wearing this year for Halloween so has a great formula two coats to get opaque um, it does want to dry a tiny bit textured just because there is so much going on in the polish but once you put on a really um, once you put on a glassy top coat all of that smooths out it's perfection you guys like I don't even know what else to say this is probably moved up to one of my favorite Halloween polishes ever um, this is a contender for like favorite Halloween polishes of the year. Um, so if you love Halloween polish, head over to Angie's site. It's like a pumpkin in a bottle on the nails. Um, Halloween ghost, everything all rolled into one in the bottle. And I freaking was in love with this polish. So that was a lot of polish to talk about. Um, but I hope you guys, I'll have everybody, I'll have all the polish names listed in the description box down below like I always do. If you guys like this video, please make sure to click the like button down below. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do. And thanks you guys for watching. I will see you all in the next video. I hope you're having a good night. Bye.